Hurley Burley, monologue by David Rabe. I mean, the Aborigine had a lot of problems. Nobody's going to say he didn't. Tigers in the trees, dogs after his food, and in the Middle Ages, there was goblins and witches in the woods. <laughs> but this neutron bomb has come along, and this son of a bitch has got attitude. I mean, inherent in the conception of it is this fucking attitude about what's worth preserving. You know what this fastidious prick has at the top of his hierarchy? What sits at its pinnacle? Things! Put one down in the vicinity of this room, and we're out! The three of us, out, out, out! Well, I think I'll go downtown tomorrow and buy some new shoes. Whack! You're out! Well, I thought I'd apologize for a rehensible behavior. You're out! No shoes, no apology. But guess what? The glasses don't even crack. The magazine's fine. The chairs, the table, the phone will ring if there's anybody to call. Things are unfucking disturbed. It annihilates people and saves things. It loves things. It is a thing that loves things. Technology has found a way to save its own ass. And whether we know it or not, we know it. That's eating us. And where other, older, earlier people, the ancients, might have had some consolation from a view of heavens as inhabited by the thoughtful, you know, meditative, maybe a trifle unpredictable and wrathful, but nevertheless up there, this divine onlooker, we have bureaucrats devoted to the accumulation of incomprehensible data. We have connoisseurs of graft and filibuster, virtuosos of the three martini lunch for whom we vote on on a basis of the personal appearance. The air is bad, the water's got poison in it, and to whose eyes do we find ourselves staring when we look for providence? We've emptied out the heavens and put oblivion in the hands of a bunch of aging insurance salesmen whose jobs are insecure. <laughs>